this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is that's the meter 0 0.40 amps that I'm running through two plates that are six inches apart. The plates are 12 by 6. It's submerged, half the plate is submerged on both sides. And it's submerged with electrolyte, which is lye. So the plates are six inches apart. If you look real close, you can see the bubbles coming off of the negative plate, even though they're six inches apart. And you can see the bubbles coming off of the positive side of the plate. The interesting part on this one is the plate in the center. That's not hooked to anything. And that's what we're getting coming off of it. Which I have to admit is even surprising me at this point. That's the center plate that's not connected to anything. Look at the other side. This is the side that's facing the... That's the side that's facing the negative plate. Again, this plate isn't hooked up to anything. The two outer plates are hooked up to negative and positive. The plate on this right side here is negative and the other side is positive. That's positive over there. So if we look at this side of that, call it a neutral plate if you like, that's what everyone else is doing. That's what's coming off the neutral plate. There's no electricity going through it at all. It's only the electric that's going through the solution, the distilled water, from one plate to the other. There's your look at the uh, negative plate. You can see how big it is. This is uh, 12 inches tall. It only 6 inches is in the water, but it's 6 inches wide. Again, this is the negative. This is the neutral plate, meaning there's nothing connected to it. The wires you see are just simply to hold it in place. That's not too bad. It's a better showing than I figured. And that's the negative plate back there. So why aren't I still convinced that that's going to make any difference. Maybe I'm just stubborn. Who knows. The fact that we're getting anything off of it at all is a surprise to me. But it's better to know than not know, right? You can see that back plate there. That's the other negative plate. And I'll take a look at this thing here from the better view. Okay, we've got positive plate over here, negative plate on this side. And we've got the plate in the center, 
that has nothing going through it at all. The two plates are going to a 12 volt battery and that's what it's drawing. 0.39 through the electrolyte. If I was to put any other cells in that water closer than that apart, we'd get an explosion of water. Because there is a lot of electrolyte in there. So again, there's the neutral plate between the two. It is definitely creating bubbles off of it. That's the back plate, that's the negative. So this is facing, the plate we're looking at here is facing the positive plate that has power going through it. And on this side it's facing the negative plate. This side, almost no action at all. That's the neutral plate or plate doesn't have any power on it. The plate over here is the plate that is negative. So as you can see, there's a good view. This is the side of the neutral plate quote that is facing the negative plate that is powered up. This is the side of the plate, the neutral plate, that is facing the positive. And here's a shot of our plate that's hooked up. good better shot maybe okay that's the negative plate and you can see the neutral plate in the center the other side is positive so to your left is the positive plate neutral plate negative plate There's your neutral plate. It's definitely producing something. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take a voltage reading across the plate even though it is turned off. And we'll see what that comes out. So there's no capacitance on this plate at all. Let's go to the none. That's interesting. So there's no voltage across the two plates after the voltage is turned off. Wait a minute, here we go. Didn't have it on there good enough, huh? There's your voltage. 133. It's holding at 132. 